Just imagine this, getting hit in the head so hard that you're unable to carry out and do daily functions. A concussion is a brain injury that happens when you take a blow to the head or a jolt that alters the body in a way that it makes a, that it makes a person feel or behave. Are you aware of how many people get concussions from sports in the United States each year? It is on average that it is between 1.6 to 3.8 million people get concussions from sports each year. Today I will be discussing about concussions in football, the health risks that come with it, the NFL's concussion protocol for players that do get concussions, and players who have had concussions or players who have dished them out. Uh, first, I will be discussing some of the health risks that come with concussions. Some concussions can last between one to six weeks if it's not too bad, but some concussions can last longer and they can get post-concussion syndromes, which have longer symptoms. Uh, Post-concussion, uh, they are uh, physical and emotional problems. It can make life really challenging for people. And uh, here's a quote from uh, Dr. James P. Kelly. It says, multiple concussions are the big concern in football. They're compared to war-related trauma, which usually involves a battlefield blast or the, head, or the impact of a head against the wall or the ground or another hard surface. And to me, when you think about war-related trauma, you should not, it should not be compared to playing a game of football and taking that risk of getting hurt that bad. Uh, next, I will be discussing about the NFL's concussion protocol. They, they came up with the actual system in 2009, and it was uh, adjusted in 2011, and it was, it's been tweaked over the last five years. Can't really find a good way to establish it. If a player, this is how it works, if a player gets a concussion, they are removed from the game immediately, and then the team physician uh, will go to the locker room with them and give them a full evaluation. And if a concussion is diagnosed, a player is not allowed to play for the rest of that game. And if he passes the examination, he is allowed to play, but he has to be monitored thoroughly throughout the game. It just, to me, it just seems like they're just trying to rush players back and try to get them back as quick as they can, no matter like what state of health they're in. And it just, it just honestly sounds like just a big show. And sometimes, Players won't even be totally honest if they have concussions. They're going to try to hide it because so, they're eager to get back and play. Uh, now I'm going to talk about a player who has had several concussions and a player who has gave other players concussions. The NFL needs to be more protective over their players in the game. Uh, a player intentionally trying to target another player should suffer steep consequences. The NFL fines are chunk change to these high dollar players. But the NFL got one right, I believe, on Cincinnati Bengal linebacker Vontez Perfect. He was fined nearly a million dollars and suspended for the first three games of the season for targeting a Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver in 10-year Brown in last year's playoff game. And this year again, he must not have learned from his mistakes and that fine didn't do nothing because it was week six, I believe, against New England Patriots after their running back scored a touchdown, he stepped on his ankle being fined again another $75,000. And uh, when, when is he going to learn? Like, we, what else can you do? You find him that much money and he's still causing players to get hurt and making the game unsafe. And then the New York Times did an interview with uh, Jordan Reed. He's a tight end for the Washington Redskins and he's had six concussions. <coughs> and they talked about, he said, Reed fears the heartache of losing football and Reed recognizes the health risks that come, but he's just too eager to play. He's had a history of concussions, and they haven't given him a reason to stop, but he admitted to also trying to hide his last concussion. Players should be honest about it. Fines and suspensions are necessary, I believe, to players who do not follow the rules, and players' lives matter too. In conclusion, us fans need to raise awareness to keep football great, just safer. I've touched on the health risk, the concussion protocol, and some of the NFL players. If nothing changes, game safer or game over. Thank you. Does the NFL, um, do they educate all the football players on how severe concussions are and what it does to the brain? They know what they, they're getting themselves into, but they're, they're just eager to get back out play. 
I just, they know, they've seen like players from back in the day get hurt and what they've done. They know what they're risking. Is there a certain number of concussions you can have before they say you can have them again? No, there's no number. Like, I, like he had, he's had six. He's still playing. Um, when you say they bring him back, but they monitor him throughout the game, how do they? How would you do that? I'm not really for sure, but that that comes with the player too. If they, if you said he passes, he's he did, they're relying on him to be honest about it, I believe. And players aren't always going to be honest unless it's really, really bothering him. If they feel like they should sit out, but most of them won't. Do all teams only have one position? Because I know sometimes people like a second. No, they have they have like at least they have at least one, but I know teams have several. Um, why is the NFL being criticized when the players are assuming the risks of concussions when they go out there and get their million dollar paycheck, but yet they know they're going to get a concussion, why do they still play? But yet the NFL is the one that's getting criticized. It's just a big show, honestly. I don't know. I wish I could really give you a true answer to that, but I don't, I don't know. If you were in the NFL and you felt like you had a concussion, would you like to tell them? Yeah, I'd be honest, honestly. It's not worth the risk that they take with the symptoms and having to deal with that for the rest of your life. It's not worth it, honestly. Do you think you deal with that like in high school level? They, I've seen high school players get concussions, but le the level, like the higher level you play at, the more better the players are and the more likely they're gonna hurt you more. But I've seen high school players get concussions too. I know people who have, I mean, it's. I don't know what the high school does for like, I know you have to take a test, but I don't think it's the most accurate thing for kids this age. So in the NFL, when you say I make a statement like, do they not do they like hurt you to get the concussion? It depends on like, usually when you get hit really hard, you're, and you have it, like they think you have a concussion, usually the player really shows it, either he lays down or he ain't gonna get up, and it like, they, they'll let you know like that, that really got to them, I believe. Is there a monetary reason that these players go back in the game? Do the, does their contract say if they don't play, they won't get paid? Or No, I don't believe so. They're guaranteed so much when they sign the contract. I think, I don't know why they would want to go out and play, honestly, after being hurt like that. But they're just eager to, I guess. I don't know.